make sure the giant fits in the picture. Hi. Hi. Let's sit down and film a little update. Yeah, we really need to, don't we? Are you gonna fix your hair? This is my hair fixed. <laughs> Let's look at my nasty pathos. Your, your feet are out of the frame, oh, Samuel. All right. <laughs> Thanks for the concern. Thank goodness. For our poor viewers. <laughs> they do not need to see that. Yeah, you don't want to see them at the moment. I was like, we'll um, leave it right there. Anywho, right there. we thought we would sit down and just have a little chat, share mm -hmm. a little update, because I feel like the theme of this trip has been flexibility and just throwing plans yeah. and preconceptions precon preconceived plans preconceived. how about that it's not <laughs> out the window yeah for sure those plans go out the window so i don't know if i already edited this out of some of our previous vlogs where we talked about this but we were supposed to travel in peru yeah we had a really cool trip planned that you were in touch yes. with, a, with a blogger. Yeah, so basically we were going on this trip down to Ica in Huacachina with another YouTuber couple to like film some content together. Mm -hmm. Have a fun little trip, vineyards, yeah. haciendas, good times. And like, was it a day before, two days before we were supposed to leave? Yeah. Protests erupted here in Peru um, because of the cost of fuel, right. which has been rising around the world. This isn't just happening in Peru. This is a global thing. Yeah. And then those protests kind of like shut down the highways because mm -hmm. they burnt the, what do you call the, the toll, the toll booths, the protesters. So the toll booths the toll were being booths. built. There was just like all kinds of disruptions. There was yeah. also protests taking place in the capital. And yeah. so uh, the, the president ended up uh, ordering a, a flash curfew yes. on the day we're supposed to go. So then we're all <laughs> so, <laughs> stuck indoors, like nobody yeah. is allowed to leave their homes. Though I will say the neighborhood that we're in right now is very peaceful and people are just like, I'm still exercising, I'm still walking my dog. So yeah. a few brave souls were still out during the curfew. And then because of the curfew, there was a counter protest Right. In the city center. So it's just been kind of like crazy. Oh, don't forget the banging of the pots and pans. Oh, banging of the pots and pans. <laughs> yeah, the from windows. the apartment. I've never seen that before. That was, yes. That was unique. To kind of show people's unhappiness, shall yes. we say, with the current government. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it is pots and pans time. We've had three sessions today at 12 noon, at one point in the afternoon, and now in the evening. Yes, interesting time to be in Peru. Um, but we never felt in danger or anything. It's no, just been we, a lot. We were pretty lucky in the sense yeah. of where we were staying in Miraflores, but also it's just like it ended up being okay for some reason. Like I the cancellation, yeah, of plans and yeah. No travel. Okay. It just doesn't feel like it was meant to happen. Like Maybe that. Not. That that's over a week ago now. Yeah. No, it's two almost two <laughs> weeks ago. And um, basically, I've I've been doing work on something, a new website called PicturePerfectPortfolios.com. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm throwing that out there. Just throwing this out there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Tell us about your project. So we didn't so, travel anywhere, but Sam. Okay. Can I say you've been nerding out? Is that I've okay? I've been nerding out to the max. Not recently, like for the past two and a half years? Yeah, yeah. So during the pandemic, I, I developed a, a, like a new passion for investing. And I was just like devouring books, listening to podcasts, reading white papers, reading blogs, and just kind of soaking in information like a sponge. Mm -hmm. And now I'm kind of expelling some of the some of the things that's been soaked into the sponge. So mm -hmm. I have things that I want to write about, like um, type of investor that I am. I would say that I'm contrarian. I, I like I like to get involved in factor investing, value, momentum. I'm also really into alternative investments. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that I really like to do is build model portfolios. That's his hobby. And so yeah, I'm yes. playing around with that on the website. I'm interviewing people. I'm doing uh, writing about all kinds of topics. Yeah. And uh, it's super niche, so I mean, only yes. only if this is something <laughs> that you may enjoy, check out. I would say this is a very small yeah. fraction of the population, but if you guys yeah. are interested in that, 
Like, I, I have to say, I've read some of your articles, and because you've been talking to me about this for two years, mm -hmm. I understand it. But if yeah. I had landed on your website two years ago, the information would have gone over my head. Like, yeah. I have no idea what you're talking it's about. One of those topics. Um, it's one of those things that, like, it, it is, it's a niche interest. And, uh, but if you are interested, mm -hmm. please come over and say hi, leave a comment uh, on the website. And I'll get back to you for sure. Because it just started. I think I've only got like eight, nine, ten posts up. Nice. So uh, it's in the beginning stages. But yeah. I'm trying to write a post every other day. Mm -hmm. And I've been able to stick to that so far. So yeah, yeah really pumped about that. Um, you've been able to spend quality time with family, which has been nice. I have, yeah. I mean, the cancellation of like this trip and <clears throat> another trip that we also had planned with my family down to Chincha that got canceled. It meant we had a lot of time in Lima. Also, can I just clarify that this video clip right here was not staged at all. Sam basically ate his way into a food coma and this siesta was the aftermath. There was no getting him back to the apartment so he just sprawled out on the couch. We also visited a new to us restaurant called Fiesta for a birthday celebration. This restaurant specializes in food from Chiclayo in northern Peru and the food was really outstanding. We started out with this flambéed nigiri, which we coated in spices, and down it went in one bite. It was so good I could have eaten a plate full of those. Next came the ceviche. The waiter poured the citrus juice into our individual plates, and then we had to cure the fish ourselves by dipping it in the juice. Apparently, they said five seconds was enough, but as you can see, I was quite suspicious. Shouldn't it be five minutes at least? This dish came with corn, sweet potatoes, seaweed, and these delicious sweet corn croquettes. Then came something called cooked ceviche or hot ceviche, which was wrapped in a corn husk. This was another wonderful explosion of flavors and the fish just melted in our mouths. And then we had the green rice with duck, which at the end of the meal was cooked again into this nice crispy rice. It kind of reminded us of a Korean dish we used to have. And then lastly for dessert, we had this multi-layer dish called king kong and some gourmet fudgesicles. on my hands. the eating we also enjoyed a little bit of pampering. This is something I only do when I visit Lima and I even roped Sam into it. He fell asleep at one point during his pedicure. Do we think he enjoyed it? So I spent a lot of time with family, we just yeah. went out to a lot of restaurants, tried new dishes. They're foodies like we are, oh, so man. it's a really good match. Yeah, they are. They're, they're probably, yes. even, probably even more so. <laughs> like they're at, the, uh, they're at their extreme pro level. We're, yeah. We're, <laughs> yeah we're, we, we can aspire to be at mm -hmm. their level someday. 
And the other cool thing was you got to celebrate your, your grandma's 94th birthday. Yes. So. Yes. Raise a glass, you've made it another year. Happy birthday. Have a laugh, crack a smile, even shed a tear. Because it's your birthday. Pop the cork, pour the flute, make a wish, and don't forget to count the candles. Now we celebrate with cheers. Raise your glass to another year. Raise your glass, it's time to have some fun. Happy birthday, yellow cake for a Disfrutando tu almuerzo de cumpleaños. Sentado. 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 No. Wow, Maki, mis dedos. Okay. Una más. A ver, falta acá. Up. Sube. Upa, upa. 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 No. No te vemos en el. A ver, des despacito. Ok, este fue mejor. Muy bien. Qué bonito que estás. Qué bonito. Oh, yum, yum. Me gustaron las papitas. Mmm, delicious. Yeah, that was awesome. And what else was I going to say? Oh, I wanted to talk about our new filming style. If you kind of noticed that, I don't know if you have, but we ended up getting the little GoPro. Yeah. And I find because it's so small and so easy to just pull out of my purse, yeah. I've been filming a lot more and like getting longer clips, just like showing you the surroundings, the city. It's a bit more easygoing, a more bit casual. more unedited, uncut, a little bit more raw, I yeah. would say. I hope you guys are enjoying that style, but we'd love your feedback. I kind of have more fun filming and editing these videos because I'm not spending as much time on them. Yeah. Like it's not taking me a week to get one out there. We actually had this conversation um, about a night, a couple nights ago. We were saying mm. how things have kind of changed for in, 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 on YouTube mm. for a while. It's like yeah. when when drones first came out and when uh, you could start filming in slow-mo easily on cameras, it's like everything became about the editing and the slow motion and mm -hmm. the cinematics. I still think that's a really important way to, to film and tell a story, mm -hmm. but I almost think like things are kind of going back to the original roots of YouTube. They're reverting to the early days yeah, of more vlogging. Of the, more of the, the rawness, the personality, yeah. the, the kind of like unrefined element of yeah. storytelling and making videos and quite frankly we're we're feeling refreshed with this new style yeah and the thing is i'm still capturing a lot of detail and b-roll with the with the bigger camera but we're doing way less of the speaking clips now with it yeah and yeah it's a it's it's a cool new style that i hope you guys enjoy too yeah i'm really happy with the little gopro and what it's allowed us to do yeah i also feel more comfortable in restaurants because 
Like when you walk in there with this yeah, giant oh DSLR and like a microphone yeah. mounted on top, like it draws a lot of attention. Yeah. But with this like tiny little thing on a stick, it's like I can just pull it out and do my thing. <laughs> it's it's super it was super awkward sometimes in the past, yes. like to honestly film in a restaurant with with a bigger camera and the, yeah. and the mic. And the thing too is I couldn't have imagined a GoPro having the quality to, to film like mm -hmm. we are today. Like just several generations ago, it wouldn't have uh, wouldn't have passed the test. Mm -hmm. Didn't have the a decent enough microphone extension. The image stabilization wasn't great, and and quite frankly, the the colors and the and the graininess indoors mm -hmm. wasn't wasn't up to standard. Yeah. But like the advances in technology has allowed it to become like a viable filming tool mm -hmm. that can be used in, in, in a versatile amount of ways now. And so we're utilizing it now as a as a primary speaking speaking camera. I realize that this is starting to sound like an ad. It's not we no. paid for our own camera. Yeah. We're just really happy with it. We're just excited yeah. with it. It's it's exceeded <laughs> our expectations and I, I honestly held off getting a, a GoPro update. I think the last one I had was the four, three or the four. And I, I kept telling off, it's like, I kept thinking, ah, oh, it's not quite good enough. It, mm -hmm. it needs this, it needs that. But this one kind of like put it all together. It even has the screen that's facing you as well. Mm -hmm. So you can see yourself when you were, when you're yeah. recording. The old GoPros you couldn't, you're just mm -hmm. guessing. So, I mean, this is just, just really, really like it. And um, it's, it's, it's changed, it's changed our game. It's changed, changed our, uh, the game. It's changed everything as they say. Yes. So, I don't know, is there anything else to tell you? We've got two days left here, so we're trying to make the most of it. Yeah, maybe and we'll take you on a walk. <coughs> show you a bit of a, a walk that we can do. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've just got a couple other things. We're going up to, to sushi later tonight. So yeah, we'll just film a little behind the scenes, maybe give a, a little bit of a tour where we're staying yes. and uh, also packing up to leave. Packing so, it up, packing it in. Yeah, that'll probably be yeah. how we finish off this video. But um, yeah, it's been fun mm -hmm. and uh, uh, can't wait to see what we can do at our next destination. Next destination! So, stay tuned for that. <laughs> oh, my hair, my What's hair this? is stuck to the lens. This is really English. Yes. yes. So we are out for one of our morning walks which has become a routine, a daily routine. Out in a boat. Out in a boat along the coast. Yeah. I don't think I've missed a day walking here. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, I, this <laughs> is just, this is the routine for me and Lima. Yeah. Not only that, but it was also like at the last time, oh, pepperoni. <laughs> I got a pepperoni. Uh, you were saying? So I, I, what I was saying was um, basically this, this going for a walk along the coast has been a routine for me not only on this trip but on previous trips as well mm. and so it's just a it kind of feels like lima i was just talking to you about this lima feels a little bit like like a hometown a mm. bit we've been here so many times and it just feels familiar comfortable and we kind of settle into like into a local lifestyle like yeah. we just get up we go for a walk every day probably about an hour and um we love it sometimes we get nice visibility and on days like today there's there's zero so i know i almost feel a little bit guilty that we didn't bring the camera out on any of the other days when we had you know sunshine you can see the ocean the waves yeah but this is life this is what yeah, life is this really is like. reality this is, this is the real deal guys real it's, most, it's mostly like this actually yeah so, this is very typical but um yeah there's also a really interesting new addition a new park it's a, a Chinese garden, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, we'll show you that coming up. It's really pretty. It's really nice. Here we are. Here we are. So, I mean, one of the most impressive things, too, is just the attention to detail of this new park. They have bamboo railings. Yeah, very look cool. So cool. And look at the way that they're even tied together as well mm, right. it's so interesting a so, very traditional park yeah let's go explore it let's go okay so i'm gonna get sam here to tell us the yeah. reason for the creation of so this park this is like a freshly minted plaque from the 25th of february Ooh. of this year so it's only been open a few yeah, months yeah so it's to celebrate the relationship between china and peru 
And there's been immigration happening between the countries for 172 years, so... Oh yeah, I guess this is in Spanish, so... <laughs> yeah. Let me translate, I'm that's, like... That's, that's the part I got. <laughs> I'm like, Sam, explain what this <sighs> is all about. Uh, so basically, it celebrates the bicentenary of Peru. Uh, 50 years of diplomatic relations between Peru and China, and 172 years since the start of Chinese immigration to Peru. And we know there is a large Chinese population here because of Chifa. the cuisine. Yeah. Chifa food, which yeah. is fusion Chinese and Peruvian food. Yeah, also quite a bit of uh, Japanese population influence as mm -hmm. well. And that's the Nikkei. Nikkei. Yeah. So Chifa and Nikkei, two foods you got to try. Yes. When you're in Lima. And those, now some of the best. let's explore this beautiful park. Yeah. Also, I don't think you can see it on my camera, but right underneath the bridge there, they've got about four little baby koi fish. They're probably the size of little goldfish right now. Like they're really, really small, but I think they're all sleeping. If fish sleep, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they're kind of like crowded together just underneath the bridge, kind of hiding there. But normally you do see them swimming around. Oh, okay, there's a few bigger ones. They are starting to grow. Whoa. There's some swimming over there. I'll have to see if Sam can get them with his camera. Although we didn't bring a zoom, so it's like GoPro and wide lens. There's two big fish. Well, medium sized. Come, come, come. Ooh, they're running away. Oh, they're running away. Oh, and they're hiding under the bridge with the oh. other ones now. So sad. They're a little startled. And then it was time to pack it up. Our three weeks in Lima really flew by. We may not have gotten to do all the travels around Peru we had originally planned, but honestly, I think things worked out quite well. We got to enjoy a lot of quality time with family, which is what matters most. Plus, we also got to try a whole bunch of new to us restaurants, which being the foodies that we are, we always enjoy. Guys, we are signing off in matching t-shirts. Hey, we're gonna sign off from a more epic place. Come. Okay, views. Yeah. Views. Remember, remember we were telling you there are no views. And now there are views. There are views. Beautiful views. Beautiful Sunset views. views. Sunset views. Da da da. Hi. Hi. <laughs> So yeah, this is where we say goodbye. We are off to the airport. We've just been packing, getting everything ready. I don't like standing on the balcony. Yeah. Oh, hang you know on, what? let's go back inside. Are you serious? <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, wow. You're, you're more afraid of ice than like I am it. at this point. So. Um, what we were saying. So what I was gonna say is maybe <laughs> fastest three weeks of my entire life. Just yes. boom, we had so much fun. I was working on a project that was just like all consuming and then the rest of the time went for walks, having good food, hanging out with family. So yeah. It was fun. I had a great time. Um, very productive, very just, just great. It's just great. It was it? good. Yeah, it, it really has been a good time. Uh, so we're going to end the video here just because we want to go spend time with my grandma and then we're heading off to the airport and the clock is ticking but we are going to film our journey to our next country so, uh, so there will be a new video coming soon coming soon guys <laughs> stay all. tuned ciao